Google introduced a new metric for page experience called Interaction to Next Paint or INP. INP will replace first input delay as a core Web Vitals tracking metric. Let us understand this new metric and learn how to improve our website's performance score for INP. Let us first explain what INP is. Interaction to Next Paint is a field metric that measures page responsiveness. A page is considered responsive if it responds to user input quickly. Interaction to Next Paint measures only how fast the browser displays elements on the screen after receiving user actions. This metric is important because it can help to gauge how smoothly the website is running and how quickly users can navigate through the pages. INP is measured in milliseconds. According to Google, an INP score below or equal to 200 milliseconds indicates good responsiveness. An INP above 200 milliseconds and below or at 500 milliseconds means your page's responsiveness needs improvement. An INP above 500 milliseconds implies that your page has poor responsiveness. Now, let us understand the difference between INP and FID and why INP is replacing FID. FID only considers the first interaction and measures input delay alone. INP offers a more comprehensive perspective by tracking all page interactions from loading to exit. INP ensures a thorough evaluation of responsiveness throughout the entire lifecycle of a page, making it a more reliable indicator than FID. Like Cumulative Layout Shift, CLS, INP dynamically updates and evolves as user interactions occur. INP will completely replace FID in all Google reporting starting March 2024. With this update, Google emphasizes the significance of understanding and optimizing the complete range of user interactions by embracing INP as the new core Web Vitals metric. Let us finally understand how to prepare for the new INP update. 1. INP is finally available to view and track in the Google Search Console Core Web Vitals report. You can see a special section that displays INP across your domain on GSC. 2. Start by optimizing INP for all your key pages so that you provide a good experience. Identify all user interactions on your page and measure across different devices for multiple days to get reliable data. 3. Tools like Lighthouse and PageSpeed Insights can help you diagnose INP issues. Leverage these tools to fix INP issues. Measuring your website's interaction to next paint metric is highly recommended because it is crucial for user experience and SEO. Google has rolled out the metric on GSC so that web admins can stay ahead of the change. Quadra SEO platform leverages your GSC and page performance data to provide you with a prioritized list of recommendations. Visit www.quadtr.com to optimize INP and all other core web vital metrics with Quadra today.